Welcome to another edition of Viking Voices, the people of Princeton. I'm Tom Burton, Superintendent of Princeton. And before I introduce you to our incredible student panel featuring three unbelievable student athletes, let me give a special shout out to the guys behind the camera and doing the video editing. So certainly appreciate Dwayne, John, Cameron, and Elijah. And in upcoming episodes, you're going to meet them. So gentlemen, thank you so much for the work. And we're really proud to partner with ICRC and the great work that's being done, giving students opportunities to be empowered. So let's get right to it. Here today with us, Justin, Brooklyn, and Maria. So let's meet them. Justin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I play varsity soccer, and I played four years straight, and I'm number one goal scorer for the GMC. I also like, I work at Monarcas. I also like to go play around different sports. I play many other sports, but I only play soccer for Princeton. So, so Justin, um, last year, word on the street, actually I know it's true, yeah. is that you were first team GMC. Talk a little bit about what that means from the team perspective. When you have, when you're, First team, but it's team sport, right? Okay. So talk a little bit about that, how your teammates have kind of uh, lifted you up. Um, they really helped me throughout the whole season. They taught me what was a family, and they really brought me up, even though it wasn't a great season of goal scoring, but they brought me in together, and we played really well all together. You guys had a playoff win. Yeah. Which is great. You remember the conversation we had in the classroom? Yeah, I remember. Right? That. And you pretty much promised me that you <laughs> were going to beat Edgewood. So, yeah, we did. So we won 2-1, to one, mm -hmm. right? So talk a little bit about that game and kind of what made that – why did we win the game? What pushed us over? We came in with the mentality that we're going to win. And uh, we fought our, our hearts out throughout the whole game. I managed to score two goals, but the whole team really worked, they really worked hard throughout the whole game. We didn't, let, we didn't conceive any goals, and we just defended with our lives. That was great. So thanks for that W, because I was able to see. <laughs> Unfortunately, I know we, we weren't able to win the next round, but hard fought game, uh, yeah. took an early lead, and, and played well as a team. Yeah. Yeah, Brooklyn, thanks so much for coming today. Um, you're really busy, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I play Princeton for, I mean, I play tennis for Princeton, and I'm for singles um, on the team. And I've been playing tennis since I was five years old. And um, I played a couple sports, like I played basketball and uh, ran track um, when I was really young. But then I started focusing on tennis more when I got to uh, Good, good decision. I mean, uh, very, very talented. I heard that one time you had the opportunity to play against the associate superintendent, a level five rated tennis player, and the superintendent, probably a minus five rated tennis player in the doubles match. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and you guys whooped us pretty good. So, on top, I know that's not the biggest win you had this year, but talk a little bit about the biggest win you had this year and how your teammates pick you up when they're watching you play what would some would say would be a singular sport? Um, I, I would say my biggest win would probably be against um, like Oak Hills. And um, yeah, we went to a um, third set. Mm. Um, like, oh, we went, to a, we went to a second set. Sure. And um, it, yeah, it was tough on that set. And uh, Teammates yeah, cheering you on. Yeah, definitely, especially um, Ashley Thomas. Oh, very make good. Sure. Another um, talented tennis yeah, player. Yeah, she makes sure all the team is staying positive during the game. Oh, that's yeah. great. Maria, welcome. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I've been at Princeton since seventh grade. When I got to high school, I decided to just stick with running. I used to play every single sport, and especially select soccer. But when I went to high school, I just focused on running. So I've been doing cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track every single year besides junior year I swam instead of doing indoor track because I had an injury and yeah I've just been loving Princeton and yeah. But tell us a little bit about this meet thing you have going on this weekend. Yeah I have the state cross country meet this weekend in Hebron, Ohio at the National Trail Raceway. And you qualified last week and finished seventh? Yeah I finished seventh against a really competitive field. Um, Ohio this year for cross country is ranked number four out of all the states in the United States. So Ohio is really competitive. So just to qualify for the state meet is really important. Well, listen, I am beyond excited to talk to you guys today. Um, I know that from a multitude of levels, you guys have done a lot and you really feel empowered at Princeton. 
So let's kind of go deep. You know what our mission statement is, I, and I love the fact that kids actually know that, empowering each student for college, career, and life success. So Justin, talk a little bit about how you feel empowered at Princeton. Well, Princeton really brings out a lot of opportunities and different pathways for all of us, for different things you want to study. They have a lot of classes for different specific things. And if we don't want to, if we want to focus on different stuff, they, they also support us in everything we do. Yeah, and so I know when we were talking earlier, Brooklyn, you kind of went a little bit deeper and talked, gave some specific examples, but Justin, you're 100% right. In the last episode, I talked about our business partnership program, which was, you know, it's just continued to blow up. We have 412 business partners now. We've placed about 80 total students out in the world of work, whether it's job shadowing, apprenticeships, internships, and we have more on the way, which we'll probably talk to you guys about here uh, after cross country tennis and soccer. So Brooke, a bit of a risk. All right, so I'm gonna leave you, I want you to leave us with this segment with one word that you feel kind of describes either your experience at Princeton or who you are as a student. So either or. And I'm gonna give you some thought time while we go to this great video and, and really excited to announce just some of the, again, we look at all these opportunities we're going to go to this video of two at Viking diff programs that people of Princeton, we have three of them, just as a reminder, and we're going to get right back to it. So Maria, before we saw those great videos of the Blink Parade and the great opportunity we had to represent Princeton in the beautiful opportunity there to walk 0.8 miles, but it certainly seemed like it was much more than that. I don't know, I, you guys are busy with soccer and, and of course cross country and tennis. But walking down, there are so many people, it's overwhelmingly, no matter where we went, what path, people were screaming, Princeton! It was tremendous. So a lot of alums were there. People were very proud. We had great music under leadership of Kyle Phillips. It was amazing. So I asked you guys a question right before we left. One word to describe Princeton to you or you as a student. So Maria, what word? one for both of them. Okay. For me as a student, I'm a Viking. That's what I am and that's what I do. When I cross the finish line, first place at a race, I'm not thinking about I just won for myself, I just won for my team, and I just won for my school. So I would describe myself as a Viking. And for Princeton, I would say unity. We have so many different kind of people at our school, but we all work well together and we all get along and we all love each other and we all learn so much from each other so that we can be successful. And uh, what happens every once in a while after a race? After my races, especially when I finish first, that's really nice. You get on the podium, you're at the top, and I gotta represent my school, so I make sure I have on my Viking hat, my Viking warm-ups, and I throw up the hashtag Viking Div for all the photo ops. <laughs> oh, very good, thank you. Brooklyn, actually, you know what, Justin, what word? Family. And, and why talk a little bit about that? Well, as a school, we all work as a family and a brotherhood. We all care for each other. We all look out for each other. Everything we do, we all do it together. And even when we win, we all, we all it's not just one person wins. Even if one person scores, we all celebrate together and we are like a family. That's wonderful. So you talked about brotherhood. And I know Brooklyn, you